Stacey Hunter is a free woman tonight, for the moment anyway. The Ohio Supreme Court says the judge, who's a convicted felon, doesn't have to go to jail on Monday like she was supposed to. She can stay free while appealing her conviction. Local 12's Brad Underwood joins us with what this ruling means for the case moving forward. Brad. Well, good evening, Paul. And according to Hunter's attorney, David Singleton, it could be nine months, uh, even up to a year before there's a resolution in this appeals process. And tonight, Singleton, along with many other Tracy Hunter supporters are breathing a big sigh of relief after the Supreme Court of Ohio's decision. On October 14th, Tracy Hunter was convicted on one of the nine felony counts she faced. Two months later, and just days away from going to jail, the Ohio Supreme Court rules Hunter can stay free pending the appeal process. Hunter's attorney, David Singleton, says that's a decision that keeps the confidence. We were on pins and needles all day wondering what the Ohio Supreme Court was going to do. Uh, we are delighted that the court agreed with us. The ruling comes two days after Singleton filed the emergency request that was previously denied by Hamilton County and the First District Court of Appeals. Before, during, and after the trial, Hunter has had an army of support behind her. We are very glad to hear this. We just do not feel it would have been right for her to have been sitting in jail for a period of six months while we knew that her conviction was being appealed. Ohio State Senator-elect Cecil Thomas calls Hunter's conviction an example of the unfair treatment in the legal system in Hamilton County and says this decision by the state Supreme Court is a step in the right direction. When fresh eyes look at what occurred in this particular trial, uh, we, we're very, very confident that uh, uh, there will be some different decisions being made. During the appeal process, Hunter will remain free and not be required to post additional bond. Now tonight we also spoke with uh, Hunter's attorney from the trial, Clyde Bennett. He calls this decision that was made by a court outside of Hamilton County uh, the beginning to the end of this road of exoneration for Hunter. Now her attorneys with this appeals process say they expect to start filing some of these briefs in the spring of 2015. Reporting live outside the Hamilton County Jail, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Paula. And Brad, her supporters were going to be out in front of the jail on Monday protesting. That was the original plan. I presume they're not going to be doing that. That was the original plan, and many people were prepared to go to jail, in their words, with Tracy Hunter. That uh, action has been canceled uh, for Monday afternoon. All right, thank you, Brad. Hunter was found guilty of having unlawful interests in a public contract. She gave documents to her brother he shouldn't have had as he tried to keep his job with the county. The jury was hung on eight other felony counts.